I'm uh, Sam Legg. Um, I'm the communications manager over at DC United. Um, wanted to thank everyone for making the time to come out here today. Uh, I know it was kind of a last minute press conference, but we appreciate it. Um, so we're here just to kind of announce a special partnership with um, the Washington Spirit of the National Women's Soccer League uh, and also with uh, Loudoun County government who were gracious enough to let us use their facilities today. Um, so now just to go into, you know, we have four, four speakers today. Um, we have Adam Benke, who's going to be representing both Loudoun United and DC United. He's our chief operating officer. He's done a great job at setting up Loudoun in their inaugural season. Um, then we have uh, Steve Baldwin, who's from the Washington Spirit. He's their majority owner. Uh, and then we're also joined by Matt Letourneau, who's the Dulles District Supervisor, along with Phyllis Randall, who's the Loudoun County Board of Supervisors Chair. So to kick things off, I'm going to pass it on over to Adam Benke, who will start with his opening remarks. Today we're here to announce yet another exciting partnership and general growth of the beautiful sport and soccer here in Loudoun County in the DMV area. We've successfully launched Loudoun United, built Segra Field, and are in the process of building a training center here in Loudoun County in Philip A. Bowen Park. Philip A. Bowen Park is quickly becoming Northern Virginia soccer hub. Um, I could challenge to say North American soccer hub um, to the extent that Loudoun Soccer, the preeminent youth club, is present here in the park. Loudoun United, the first professional soccer team in Loudoun County, is present in the park. And now we bring a training center that houses DC United, Loudoun United, and the main reason we're here, and that is the Washington spirit. We're bringing all kinds of soccer now to Loudoun County and to the DMV area through this extended partnership. We are excited beyond belief to have this happen in the way that it has, especially with the timing as to where we are in the landscape of soccer. The World Cup, a championship was just brought home to the USA thanks to these incredible women. And now we get to drive youth soccer, women's soccer to the next level with these facilities, with these incredible people, Steve, Board of Supervisors, everybody here today, I just wanna say thank you so much for the belief, the support, and the growth of this sport, the growth of these teams, the growth of this club, these clubs together. I think we're on the precipice of something extremely special um, with what's going on here in Loudoun County, and this is really just the beginning of all of it. So, short and short, long story short, thank you. I'm so excited for what's ahead. Um, everybody here has had an incredible impact on what this is for us today, what this will be next year, and what it's going to be in the future as we bring Washington Spirit to Segra Field for four games, five games at Audi Field, and then in 2021 um, to play five games at Segra Field, seven at Audi Field, and then who knows where it goes from there, um, but we have everything that we need to grow soccer in this country right here in our backyard in the DMV, Philip A. Bowen Park, Loudoun County, thanks to all these wonderful people. So thank you very much. We're very much looking forward to what's ahead, and uh, go United. And next up to the podium, I want to welcome Matt Letourneau, Dulles District Supervisor, who's been a huge proponent for this deal going through. Thank you very much. Uh, we are so excited to be growing uh, certainly the East Coast's most prominent soccer hub here in Loudoun County with the partnership that we've had with DC United, with the success of Loudoun United and their inaugural season and those, I think it was four match wins in a row to end the season, the positive momentum there. And now with the Washington Spirit, the top level of women's soccer in the United States and in fact in the world. Um, we're going to have some of the top stars of women's soccer playing right here at Segra Field in Loudoun County and what a tremendous thing that is uh, for all of the youth in Loudoun. Um, you know, Phyllis, Chair Randall sometimes tells a story of when um, I kind of came to her with the discussions that I was having with Jason and with Sam and our, the team at DC United. Uh, but maybe what she doesn't know is even back then, the Washington spirit were very much on our mind um, as a potential tenant, a potential user of the stadium that would become Segra Field in Loudoun County. Because we understand youth soccer in Loudoun is a true hotbed with over, I think it's up to 15,000 registrations at, at Loudoun Soccer. A lot of those are young women. And they are, have been so mobilized and so excited by the success of the U.S. Women's National Team. And now to have uh, Washington spirit coming to us, training full-time in Loudoun, being role models right there for a training facility, um, and also to play their matches here. 
Uh, we are furthering our discussions with DC United uh, to provide some additional support to DC United as part of this agreement. Uh, we, those will be subject to future board negotiations and discussions and future board actions, uh, but we are having very uh, positive discussions with DC United about how we can continue to support soccer in Loudoun County and how we can continue to grow this game and grow Loudoun County as a true hub for soccer. So I'd like to thank uh, Steve Baldwin and the Washington Spirit. I'd like to thank uh, Adam and the team at uh, Loudoun United that really did a phenomenal job. Um, hard to believe where we were a year ago and then to have a stadium that's been there, to have thousands of fans come through the turnstiles, to have the success that they had on the field. Uh, certainly like to thank Jason and Sam who have been great partners for us. Thank you, Supervisor. And next up, we have Phyllis Randall, Loudoun County Board of Supervisors Chair. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here. So since Matt alluded to the story of how I learned about this, I need to tell the story. So um, Supervisor Letourneau and I go to New York every year to do our credit rating trip. And at the end of the trip one time, um, I said to Matt, I have something really exciting to tell you. And he said, I want, want to tell you something, too. And I was like, me first. And he says, because Matt is a very nice young man, right? So he said, sure. So I told him how I had secured a restaurant to come to Loudoun. And I had been working with this restaurant for about three months and working with Buddy Riser and all that I did. And I was really proud because it was my first major ED deal um, that I bought by myself to Loudoun County. And, he, and Matt stood and listened to me very respectfully and shook his head. And he said, oh. And he, and he, and he said, that's good. And then he said, I said, well, what do you have? And he goes, yeah, I'm a big of a professional soccer team to the county. And I was like, oh, that's good too. OK, that's <laughs> good job, good job. Um, between now and then, it's been such a fantastic uh, a partnership with DC United and Loudoun United. Building Segra Field, going to that first game, um, walking down the street with Loud the Loudoun Stampede, screaming and hollering with, hollering with our um, um, flags in our hand. It has just been very, very exciting to do all of that. So to, for us to take this to this next level with women's soccer, for me, means so much. We have one of the strongest soccer clubs in the nation here in Loudoun County um, with Loudoun Soccer. And I've said all the time, one of the most important things um, for our soccer clubs here in Loudoun to do is to be able to see these um, young men playing and be able to partner with them and be trained by them and just have contact with professional soccer. And now for it to be women's soccer is incredible. People like Rose uh, uh, LaBelle, Mallory Pugh, um, uh, uh, Aubrey Bledsoe, coming to Loudoun County, that is, that is phenomenal. And so we are very excited to welcome um, the spirit to Loudoun County and be part of the partnership that is, um, I think, the, the three-legged stool. Um, anything that we can do for you all, let us know. I can tell you what, we, what you can do for us right now is we need more scarves from, from, from Spirit. I don't see too many scarves because we need those and to, to pass those around. Um, but this will be uh, uh, a very, very strong partnership and between the, the stadium, the training centers, and all the clubs that are playing right now, what I know will happen is this. There will be some little boys and little girls who are watching these soccer teams right now who will end up playing for these professional soccer teams in the future. It is such a positive, um, a positive thing to come to Loudoun County, and we are just thrilled to welcome you all. So thank you very much. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, last but not least, I want to welcome Steve Baldwin, majority owner of the Washington Spirit. Today is a big day for our club, our players, and our fans. We are announcing the new partnership with, with DC United and Loudoun, and Loudoun United. I want to thank all of the county officials that came out tonight to, uh, to, to join us in this. Before I get into the details of the announcement, I want to thank some folks that have made today possible. First, I want to thank my business partner in this venture, Bill Lynch. Bill started the club back in, back in 2013. Our players, I'm glad to see Paige here tonight. Um, everything we do 
is focused on serving our players. And that's what today, today is about. This is the next step in that journey with, with them. I want to thank our leadership, Larry, Ritchie, Denise, Tom, Gretchen, for, for being here tonight and thanks for everything they do. <clears throat> I want to thank our staff uh, back in the office and those that are here tonight for, for all the things they've done to make this possible. I want to thank DC United. So I want to thank Stephen Jason. I want to thank Andy Bush. I want to thank the entire DC United organization for this new partnership. Your support and interest in our club and women's soccer is remarkable and we are delighted to be your partner. I want to thank the Maryland Soccer Foundation and the Maryland Soccerplex. I want to thank board member Ken Solomon, who I've gotten to know over the last 10 months. The entire board there, former executive director Trish Heffelfinger and current executive director Matt Liver, and the entire staff at the Plex for being wonderful partners for us. Today does not end that partnership. We will continue working with, with the Plex every year that I'm involved with this club. One of the things that was really refreshing in my interactions with the Soccer Plex was their commitment to their vision, and that is the growth, growth of soccer. And while they are disappointed in some of the transitioning that we're going to be doing, they could not be happier for our players and seeing the growth of the game and understanding how big of a part they have played in making that happen. So thank you to them. There are a bunch of people that I've gotten to meet in the past 10 months that I had no idea prior to the beginning of this year that I would, I would be meeting with them and getting to know them. First, there's a group of folks that uh, was the first sponsor of us. That's the Women and Girls in Soccer Organization. Formerly, it was, uh, uh, WAGS was known as the Washington Area Girls Soccer League. If you go back through history, our area is very rich in the history of the game. And so WAGS as a league was started by um, Mavis Durfingler, uh, Adele Delansky, and uh, um, Rael Vodica. Adele and her children, Mark and Michelle, have been important parts of my life, my daughter's life, Larry Best's life. And uh, they, they started that organization. They supported the organization. And WAGS is an incredible partner to us. Uh, Lula Bauer, uh, Carrie Dieterich, and Lori Lane were the first partners to take a chance on me when I came to this earlier this year. And so I thank them for their support. None of this would be possible without them. An unknown part of the story with WAGS is that when Bill launched the club in 2013, WAGS was instrumental in bringing that, uh, bringing the club to, uh, to fruition. So thank you very much uh, to them. I want to thank Louise Waxler. Louise has been an important advisor to us over the last uh, six months or so that I've gotten to know her uh, and what she has done with, with McLean. She has a, a long history in the game. She came out earlier this summer and spent some time with, with our club. I want to thank April Heinrichs. So April is one of the uh, biggest names in the history of the game and during this year she has been an important part of supporting our club and being involved with us. I want to thank Tom Daschle and his team, as well as Drew Mills of Mills Marketing for their strategic advice and support during this year. Finally, I want to thank all of the corporate partners and community partners that joined us this year, and just know that we're going to be adding a lot more to that roster as we move, as we move forward. So with that as background, here are the highlights of our new partnership with, with DC United. In 2020, we will play four games at Segra Field. That's big for us. We are delighted to be here in Loudoun County. I've had <clears throat> the opportunity to spend some time with, with Tim and, and Buddy recently and uh, look forward to working with, with everybody in the county as we, as we move forward. Uh, I, uh, uh, in 2020, the Soccer Plex will remain our training home. After 2020, we will work with the Plex and we will look to play a preseason game there, there every year. In 2021, we will move our training home to the new facility that DC United is building here locally. And in 2021, we will play five matches at, at Segra Field and seven at Audi. 
in 2022, as Adam alluded to, we'll see what, what happens in terms of the number of games that are at Sager and the number of Loudon. I want to be transparent with everybody. Our objective for our players is to have them play on the biggest stage possible every single match. So, you know, Audi Field is that, is that destination. For those of you that might have happened to come to our two games this year, it was crazy good. We're going to have five crazy good experiences at uh, Segra in 2021. We're going to have four great experiences there in 2020. I want to hit a couple things on onto our fans that I that I want them to think about as as they hear the news news today. First, I want them to to I want our fans to look at this through the same lens that I look through. That being, what is in the best interest of our players? When I came into the club, I felt like we ha needed to have a different business model, and part of that business model was that it's not going to serve my economic interests. I've already made the commitment, and I'm reaffirming it today. And when the time comes that I exit my ownership in the spirit, whatever proceeds I get will be donated back to the Maryland Soccer Foundation. And so that, to me, that was an important step because I wanted to have conversations with, with people. And people could be corporate partners, community partners, government officials, where the conversation is focused solely on what is the best interest of our players. And that's the lens that I want our fans to look through as we make this move today. I want them to look at it and say, have we done the best possible thing to serve our players? And I believe, I believe this, this decision does that. A couple things for our fans that, I, that we want to do that we believe are critical uh, going forward. We will be providing a bus service from Germantown to both Audi Field and Segra Field. We will make it as easy as possible for our fans to, to come see us. The second thing that we're going to do is for fans that reside outside of Loudoun County, we will implement a program to reimburse those fans for the tolls that they pay on the toll road and the greeway to come to our matches. Those, those extra costs are not going to be the reason that fans don't come see us.